Welcome back, Family of Light. This is Davida with Medium of the Light Tarot. Aquarius, I'm back with you for another love reading. Now, I have an announcement. So, I have gotten, with the help of y'all, to 7,000 subscribers. So, I'm doing a 7,000 subscriber giveaway. So, if you want to enter to win a reading with me, the link is in the description box. Go to that video. It's really short. You know, get the details down. Enter to win. And um, it will end on March 3rd, 2021. And all the info will be there. So let's continue on. If you are new here, welcome. If you are a returner, welcome back. This deck is the, um, uh, this might hurt tarot. Now, if this one doesn't resonate with you, go to the playlist, check it out. I have plenty of other Aquarius readings in there, whether they're dated or not. Just go by the title because these are so detailed. These can't be for everyone. And if this does resonate with you, go ahead and put a thumbs up so it gets spread around to other Aquarius that need to hear this healing message. Nice. For your overall, you've got the magician. You, them, storyline. Switch these two as it resonates with you. You're definitely trying to rest after some kind of a battle here. You've got the, the Ten of Wands, so you've been feeling very, very burdened. And you're like, okay, well, maybe I have a choice. I have some choices or options that I need to make here. Some decisions. Your person here is the King of Cups, the Fool, and the Ace of Pentacles. Your person is very, very comfortable being in their emotions. And they don't have a problem showing you that. And they want a new beginning, you know, with both these here, the Fool and the Ace of Pentacles. So they want to offer you something solid. What I'm feeling is in the past, they didn't give as much. You did the majority of the work here. You've got the Strength card. The Six of Cups, which is adorable. So this must be, let me check in, guides. Yeah, you guys are familiar with each other, whether from a past life or from the past in this life. You're very comfortable with each other. You know how to, you know, when it's good, it's good. You know how to cooperate. I did not notice that until just now. So there's the King of Cups and the Queen of Cups. So you guys are definitely a divine couple that knows that when things are good between you, they're good. You've got the Magician card here as the overall. So there's some overarching change that needs to happen. Now let's see by going further in. Nice, the Ten of Cups. So with this Four of Swords, this is what you want. This is the clarification of that. You've been fighting hard for this Ten of Cups. Too many cards flying. With the Ten of Wands, is the five of wands. So yeah, you've been carrying the burdens and you're over it. You know, if this person, let me check in here. You're kind of a go-getter kind of a person. You take charge. What I'm hearing is that you like to be in control. And I think this person has let you do so. And now it's kind of to the point where you're getting tired of carrying the burdens 
because this person's like, oh, okay. And so with the seven of cups, you're like, okay, with this ace of cups clarifying it, do I need to start something new? Do I need to, yeah, because I feel like you're thinking about possibly walking away. But I, I feel like this is a little misplaced. It's more like jumping the gun and saying, okay, this person isn't meeting my needs. But, you know, spirit has already flat out said, you know, if this is your storyline, right? Flip the two as, as it reads. But if you came across as like, oh my gosh, I'm so capable. I can do this and that and that. And this person, and, you know, they obviously have a part to play in this too. But they were like, okay, well, that's great. And I'm going to be able to have things so much easier. And you go ahead and do it. Because at the time you were happy to do it. And now they've gotten lazy enough to where you're like, okay, this is too much. You need to help me. And there's bickering about it. So with the King of Cups here is the Eight of Cups. So they're kind of wondering if this is over as well. I think this is just about dynamics that no longer work for the two of you that need to be revisited. But there's, um, you guys have gotten set in your ways and are not able to communicate correctly, is what I'm hearing. You know, with this Fool card, they know that they want to be with you still. They want a new beginning with you. Okay, cards are flying. So the High Priestess is showing up for your person. Yeah, they might be a little silent about this. What I'm hearing is this might not be the first time where you've kind of freaked out and was like, this isn't working for me. I'm carrying too much of the burden. And so they're trying to be silent and knowing that this will pass. But this time it's a little different for you. You know, it's like, okay, this has happened before. You know, I really want... Um, the equal give and take and if I go silent it means I'm listening to the guides they're saying you have to speak your truth but you have to follow through you have to go okay um, because it's kind of like there's a flare-up and then it goes down again there's a flare-up and then it goes down again so there's a portion where you need to go okay I, I need you to start helping me do this you know, so you guys can go back into the celebratory mode, you know, have strength that, you know, good times and good things can happen once again. You've got a lot of new beginnings here, but the six of cups is the ace of wands. So it's a new beginning with, a, with fire and passion. You know, and with this queen of cups that I feel is representing you, the hermit card is clarifying it. So it's where you need to take a really deep look at maybe possibly some of your, your, your core wounds and say, okay, where do I not trust that someone is going to carry an equal portion of the weight of a relationship? You know, are you feeling that because you have an attachment style that maybe is facilitating that? So... Um, go ahead and check out, if you so choose, the Personal Development School from Thais Gibson. She's here on YouTube. Excellent. So there's some kind of a core wound that you're cycling through. And like I said, if it's, you know, the other person flipped the storyline. But there's, there's some healing that needs to happen here. Because I don't feel like you guys are ending it. I feel like you're considering it because you're angry but you're not quite seeing the cycle where well, you're like, Oh, so it's a part of it. It's a part of me that wants to take on too much to control the situation. So I feel safe. And then later on down the line, I get pissed off because I don't feel like this person is really um, putting forth the effort. So it's kind of like this unconscious self-fulfilling prophecy. And I feel like with this high priestess here, your person knows this. They know the cycle that you go through. And so they, they stay silent. They wait until it passes and then start the love again. 
but it's getting to the point where you're getting so upset by this that you're searching. And so congratulations, the guides say, because you want to change this. You don't want to keep going down the same cycle. You want to manifest this into something new. You don't want to be held down by the things that do not work for you. You want the happiest card in the deck. You want the sun card. You want to be happy. You want to be free. You want to be able to give them some responsibilities in this relationship and not have to fear and not need to try to control. You know, because obviously it's not really working out for you. You know, it's causing, where did that card go? It fell. This one, it's causing heartbreak. I mean, it, it, it hurts both of you. And I feel like your person understands the cycle, like I said, so. You know, that's not a big deal. Now, let's go a little bit deeper in. What needs to happen here for the highest healing? Yeah, so you're at a crossroads right now where you need to either figure out, in, you know, and um, spirit really wants you to slow your roll in this thought of, well, maybe there's something more out there. Maybe I need to find someone else. Honestly, I'm not getting that at all. This is a cycle that you need to go through. So this is at a crossroads where it's going to be like, are you going to go down a different road and hope that, you know, in a lower vibrational relationship, this isn't going to occur again? Because I think it's going to. So your best bet is to choose the road into your own healing and to see which part you play in this. And then... If you see that this person, after you've done some healing and letting go and letting them participate more and trust them more, if they're still not showing up, well, that's a different situation. Then they got to go into their healing or the situation de-evolves or whatever it is. But I feel that the energy here is very beautiful between the two of you. And I think this is just an opportunity to grow. That's all. Even if you've been in a long-term relationship with this person, you know, there's always opportunities to grow and learn, you know, like this is an opportunity for you to receive. All you've been doing is giving, you know, and look how it says received, but your hands up like, oh, no, mm, no, you won't allow it. Receive. Let them show you what they can do. You know, let go of that tight grip. Refocus your efforts. Refocus like, hmm, what part do I play in this? Do I have control issues? Because you want this new start with them. I don't think you'd ever really want to walk away. You know, as of this reading right now, but, you know, don't jump the gun. You know, it's time for you to go into that deeper healing. And I think that you can do this within the relationship if you are still in it, which I feel that you are. You know, ah, sorry, card down, card down. Lessons. Mm, there's so many of them. <laughs> all right, you guys, I'm not going to go any further than this because this is all that needs to be said. Healing, there's lessons, refocus. And it didn't say it here, but the guides are saying, don't jump the gun. Do not walk away. See your part that you play in this and how control might be leading you down a path, a cyclical path that you don't want to keep going on. And remember that it's um, personal development school. School. Okay. All right, you guys. Give us a thumbs up if this helped you out. Make sure that if you want to get a chance to win that free reading Go to the link down below in the description box and I will see you next time on Medium of the Light Tarot. Bye for now.